Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The surgical setup is seen in this uh, photo and includes a number of instruments which are both surgical and non-surgical in orientation. Uh, we tend to divide the surgical instruments into three different packages. On the, here we see the examination tray, the surgical accessories tray, and here the surgical instrument tray. The setup and an examination tray consists of bib clips, two-way syringe tip, suction tip, mirror, periodontal probe, and explorer. Suction tubing with sterile tin foil. The surgical accessories tray includes instruments which are used both pre-surgery, during surgery, and post-surgery. These instruments include suture scissors, tissue scissors, tissue forceps, cotton pliers, hemostats, needle holders, sharpening stone, syringe, and Q-tips for application of topical anesthetic. any variety of sutures may be used. The surgery tray includes instruments which are actually used during the surgery itself. These instru instruments may include an ultrasonic scalar tip, mirror, various periosteal elevators such as the Hirschfeld or Goldman Fox, the Kirkland gingivectomy knife, Orban knives, degranulation curettes such as the Pritchard, osseous instruments such as the Rhodes back action hoe, uh, ocean bean chisels of various types, and various root planing instruments either Gracie's, Columbia's, or others. Barb Parker knife handles, various uh, scalpel blades, and two by two gauze squares. Individual instruments include ocean bean chisels as seen here, the ocean bean one and two, and smaller varieties of osseous instruments as seen on the left, the Fetty chisel or modified ocean bean chisel. Instruments for sur osseous surgery include hand pieces and related burrs. On the left we see carbide and diamond burrs, and on the right we see a kit for occlusal correction. This is an occlusal adjustment burr block, which includes diamond, uh, diamond burrs, finishing burrs, and various polishing stones to complete the occlusal adjustment sequence. This is our osseous surgery burr block, which again includes various carbide and diamond burrs of various sizes and configurations. Individual instrument groupings include suction tip, mirror, periodontal probe, and explorer. Scissors, both suture scissors on the right and tissue scissors curved or serrated on the left. Tissue forceps, including adsent forceps, plain or tipped. Cotton forceps, often called dressing forceps, mosquito hemostats, or Kelly curved hemostats. Needle holders, including from right to left, Boynton, Castro Viejo, and the Cryle Wood needle holders. Suture may include any variety of suture, typically silk of 4.0 or 5.0 size. Root instrumentation instruments, including but not limited to ultrasonic scalar tips, either regular or modified tips, curettes, including Gracie curettes, often 
the 1112 and 1314 Gracies, Columbia curettes, and other root planing instruments. Scalpels, which may include, as seen here from right to left, the 15C, 15, 12D, and 11. Surgical knives, from right to left, the Kirkland gingivectomy knife, which is a two-sided knife with both a concave and convex cutting surface, the Orban gingivectomy knife, and variations of the Orban knife as seen on the left, either extended Orbans or buck knives. The Kirkland gingivectomy knife, with, which is two-sided, including a concave and convex cutting surface. The Orban interproximal knife, designed for secondary and tertiary incisions, and variations of the Orban knife with various angulations of blade to shank, which allow versatility in, in, in incision placement and debridement. Other knives, including Goldman Fox knives, either the Goldman Fox 8 or 11, or variations of these knives which present blades which are angled at specific angles to the shank or handle. These knives are excellent for use in posterior areas, distal molar areas, and interproximal sites. These are various bone recontouring instruments, including, from right to left, the ocean bean 1 and 2, which have variations in the cutting edge, either on the front or back of the cutting blade. The ocean bean 3 chisel, which presents the blade at a specific angulation to the shank and handle of the instrument the Rhodes back action hoe, the modified ocean bean three, or a variety which is called the Fetty chisel, the Sugarman file, which is used for interproximal bone reduction. You will notice that the Sugarman file has serrations on most of its surface. Here we demonstrate the safe side of a Sugarman file, which would be placed against a root surface so that the root surface is not injured or marred during reduction of interproximal bone. Tissue elevators, including from right to left, the Pritchard elevator, which includes a wide spade end, the Goldman Fox periosteal elevator, smaller elevators such as the Hirschfeld elevator, and cheek retractors, so the Minnesota cheek retractors seen on the left. Suturing pliers, such as the specialized corn suturing plier, which has a special modification to allow the, the suture needle to pass through the tip of the instrument. These suture pliers are ideal for specialized procedures, such as GTR and mucogingival procedures. As you can see, the suture needle can be passed within a recessed area within the tip of the corn suture pliers. Once the needle is passed through the pliers, the suture itself can be released through a small groove at the tip of the corn suturing plier. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.